Hey everyone, it's John here and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can automatically create planner tasks from Excel. So in order to do that we're going to have to set up a couple things. So first of all our Excel file is going to need to be an online file so it has to be saved in either SharePoint or OneDrive. After that we need our Excel file to actually have some data that we want to convert into tasks and so for that we need a title and we need some details of our tasks. And then we need a start date and an end date of our task and who we want to assign it to. Now we're going to need to have this data inside an Excel table. So we're gonna select our data and go up to the insert tab and use the table command to convert this into an Excel table. So let's press okay. And we've got our Excel table now we're going to go up to the table design tab and convert this or name this rather to something sensible. So it's automatically named as table two here. Let's rename this to task list and press enter. And we also need to install the Microsoft Power Automate add-in. So to do that, we're going to go to the insert tab and there's options here for add-ins. We're gonna get an add-in. And here it is right here, Microsoft Flow for Excel. Now, if you don't see that, you can search up here for Microsoft Flow or Power Automate. So they haven't renamed this add-in yet. Let's add that. And when we add it, it's gonna appear in the data tab right here. So let's open that up. And once it's open, we can sign into our Microsoft 365 account. And now what this Flow or Power Automate add-in is going to do is going to allow us to build and run flows uh, based on our Excel data. So when we select a row in our data, we can press a button and then run some sort of automation based on the data in that row. So what we're going to do is create a planner task based on the data in our Excel table here. So from this add-in, we can go up here and create a new flow. So we would create an instant flow from blank here. And then we're gonna be able to build our flow in this window here. But instead, what I like to do is head over to flow.microsoft.com and that's gonna give us a bit more room here. And we can come here and create a new flow. And then we're gonna create an instant flow. So let's name this create planner task. And then what we want as a trigger is going to be our forest selected row trigger. So we can create that and here's the for a selected row trigger. And then we just need to navigate to our spreadsheet wherever that is safe. So I've got mine saved in OneDrive for business. And here it is. And once you select your Excel file, you can select the table inside your Excel file. So here's that task list table that we just created. Let's select that. And now that we've got our trigger set up, we can create a new step in our flow. So this is what's gonna actually build our planner task for us. So we're gonna search for planner and here's all the planner actions that are available. So there's quite a big list and one of them is create a task. So we're gonna select that and then we just need to select the group and plan. So I've got one set up called my demo plan. We're gonna select that and if I head over to planner, so if we go to tasks.office.com, that's where we can find planner. And planner is basically a task management system. So we can set up plans for our tasks. So I've got a couple here. And then within a plan, you can have buckets of tasks. So that allows you to further organize all your tasks. So within this plan, I've got two buckets. One's called fun and the other's called work here and you can add new buckets, as many as you want. 
and then tasks are gonna be listed in those buckets. So let's go back to flow. Now we need to give our tasks a title and this title is gonna come from our Excel data. So when we click into there, we're going to get the option of adding dynamic content based on our selected row here. So here we've got our title field from Excel. And then we also need to choose what bucket in our plan we're gonna add tasks into. So I'm gonna put everything into the fun bucket that I had set up there. And we're also gonna use the start date and the end date from our Excel data. And we also had a field for who that task is gonna be assigned to. Now notice that this create a task doesn't actually give us any option for adding the details of the task. So we have to actually use another action for that. So again, let's search for planner. First, let's update a task details. So let's select that. And now it's gonna ask us for the task ID. And because we created a task in this step here, we have the ID from that created task available as dynamic content. So here we can select tasks that already exist or enter a custom value. So that's what we're gonna do. And then our custom value is gonna be the ID from this step here. Now we can add our description of the task and that's gonna be from our Excel data. So here we have a details field that's gonna supply our description. And here we can add other things like links to various resources, like maybe a particular Excel file, etc. cetera. In this demo, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna leave this blank and just use the description field. So let's save this and now we can actually test this out. So if we head back to Excel and we're gonna to need to refresh this. So here is a list of all our forest selected row uh, automations, but we're going to have to refresh that list. So let's hit our flow button here and it looks like we need to sign in again. And here's the flow that we just built, create a planner task. So now all we need to do is select any of the rows and we can actually select multiple rows and create multiple tasks at the same time. And you don't need to select the entire row for this. You can just select any column in the row. So let's create a task based on this first entry here. So I'm gonna select any cell in that row. And then over here, I'm gonna hit the play button or run button. Now the first time we might need to sign into some things. So let's continue here. And now we can run the flow. And let's head over to planner and see if that worked. And you can see that that's populated our task into the fun bucket. So here we've got this assigned to me and it's in the fun bucket. And here we have a start and end date and now notice this is the 16th to the 17th. We'll talk about that in a second here. And then lastly, we have our description or details of the task. Now, if I head back to my Excel file, you'll notice that this is starting on the 17th and going to the 18th, but the task appears to be going from the 16th to the 17th. So what we're actually going to need to do is convert some times. So I'm in Eastern Standard Time, but Power Automate works in UTC. So it assumes everything is UTC and therefore we're going to have to convert our dates into UTC before we use them here. So we can add a step above our create task before we use the times. And if we search for date, we actually have this convert time zone option here. So let's use that. And here we're gonna convert our start date. And 
and I'm in Eastern time. And I want to convert that to UTC. Right here. And we're going to use the format string of sortable date and time pattern. So we want the full date and time string. And we're going to do the same thing for the end, but just to speed things up, I'm going to copy that to my clipboard, add an action and add in that item that I just copied. And of course, instead of start date, we're going to use the end date. And then in the create a task, we're not going to use those anymore from directly from Excel. We're going to use these converted time zones instead. So the start date is my convert time zone one and the due date or end date is my convert time zone two. Now let's save that and let's go back to Excel and let's try that again. So let's play our create planner task. And again, I'm selected on the same item. So that should be the same item just with updated dates. And now if I head back to planner, let's close this and open up the new one that came in. And that's now the 17th to the 18th, which is uh, what we wanted. So that's how you can automatically create planner tasks from Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.